Today, as the title says, we're seeing which planes can take off with their landing gear up. It's just that simple. Hopefully there'll be timestamps somewhere down below if you wanna skip around, but let's get started. So first up is the PA-28. We're gonna start with smaller planes and get bigger, but um, our right wing is completely in the runway at the moment. We'll go full power. I don't have much hope for these early planes, but some definitely will work eventually. Yeah, that's full power and nothing's happening. We must move on. Next up, we have the King Air. And again, each of these is with the plane as light as possible possible not sure if i mentioned that yet there's full power can we get any kind of movement here ignore the props in the ground as well come on it might be moving the slightest amount on earth yes it is look it is moving as slow as anything has ever moved but it's definitely not going to take off okay next up we have the vision jet again as light as possible full power no prop to hit the ground with this one And again, it looks like we're maybe moving a tiny bit, but that's it. Next up is the PC-12. Same idea, full throttle. Let's see, can we get any movement? Not seeing enough movement. Come on, little PC-12. Do your thing. This one's not moving at all. Okay, quickly, we're gonna start this. We're in the CJ-4, but for whatever reason, we're shuffling to the side. So we do, oh! Oh, I thought I saw movement forward for a second. I have no idea why we're we're moving like this. But uh, it does not look like we're going to get off the ground in any way, shape, or form. Okay, next up we have the A-10. Now, this thing, you can't see it, but its landing gear wheels are exposed. Not that that's uh, modeled at all in the sim as far... Oh, okay, we're moving. Ooh, this is our first, our first potential success. Here we go. A-10 Warthog. Take off with no landing gear. Come on, rudder right. Come right a little bit. Ooh, this is actually, we're at, we're at 110 knots. I'm gonna go more flaps. 140 knots. Come on, get off the ground. It's close. It wants to, I can tell. We should need a bump in the runway or something. Come on, come on, you're there. Oh, we have a bump. <laughs> I mean, hey, it did it. Technically, technically it did it. We'll count that one. Okay, next up we have the F-18. Now, like we saw with the A-10, I think the hardest thing is that you can't get any kind of AOA. As you can see right now, our AOA is uh, essentially negative, which is really, for planes that have enough power to do it, I think is the hardest part. The rudder is going crazy, that is not me. But we're going 110 knots. 115. I'm going a lot of left rudder and we're not we're not coming back to the center at all. 120. We're we gonna get any faster than this. 124. We're kinda that's full left rudder, by the way, guys. We're pretty much stuck. I can do trim, I can do elevator, and we're so we're slowing down. Yeah. So F18 cannot do it. We only hit 124 knots, and with no AOA, it's definitely not gonna work. Okay, next up, the F22. Now, I was a little bit surprised that the F18 couldn't do it. I guess it's just because of the AOA issue that I mentioned. But because the F22 does have thrust vectoring, although I'm not sure how the physics for the thrust vectoring are, obviously it feels like it, but I don't know if they're actually physics for thrust vectoring in here. A lot of right rudder, come back. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, we're about to take off already, no way. Okay, F-22 has absolutely no issue. That was actually pretty cool. Let's do a Cobra for good measure. Maybe we weren't going quite fast enough. Next thing, we have the F-14. This one I feel pretty good about because it's not so nose down when we're just sitting here. Full afterburner, come on, baby. Oh, this is uh, starting off a lot slower than I thought it would. There's 60 knots. That's full left rudder and we're not coming back at all. 85 knots. This is honestly simple. Let me go flaps up. See if it can get some more airspeed and then flaps back down. 96. Rudder does not seem to do much of anything. It just wants to up and now we're in the grass. Oh, we got more airspeed on the grass. Look at that. Okay, we're doing a grass takeoff. Come on. 130. Come on, little F14. I don't think it's going to do it. 140 knots on the grass and still not quite. Next up, we have the B-2 Spirit, my favorite plane. This is the top Mach 1. Again, we're, we're kind of shuffling sideways a little bit here. There's full throttle. Any movement at all. I'm not seeing enough movement. Not much of anything at all. This thing's definitely not going to do it. Definitely not going to do it. Okay, next up, ATR. 
42. Ignore the wing on the ground. Up. Oh, okay. We tilted forward. Oh my. Oh, we were moving for a split second there. It gave me hope for a second, but that hope has quickly faded. Okay, before we drift off the runway here, 707 is up next. I don't know if they've improved this plane because when it first launched, it was pretty terrible. That is full power though. And are we moving at all? We, okay, we're not moving forward, but we started drifting the other way. Okay, next up, 737. If anyone knows what is going on with the drifting sideways, I would love to know because this is like, like that's really bad. Confusing and really bad. But it looks as though the 737 has absolutely no chance as you and I both thought. Okay, A320. This took a long time to get somewhat straight on the runway and I assume it's not going to budge. So it was probably a waste, but we'll see. Ooh, I mean, we're moving about an inch an hour, but that's all it's going to give us. What is that? Okay, so the C-17 is sliding. May Wait, why are two of our engines off? Oh, is it going to stop when we hit the... It's not going to stop. When we Can we get our engines back on, please? Clearly, the runway is icy. Like, what is this? The sliding is ridiculous! Okay, so I wanted to do the C-17, but it, it literally just slides... Like, you... You can't do anything with it. Oh, there's freaking cows! Or what are that? Moose or something, they're running from my plane. Apparently this whole sliding thing is completely broken and I can't even, I actually can't even attempt it with the C-17. So we're gonna go straight to something else. Okay, next up, the A400M out of any prop plane. My perception is that this would have the best possibility. And my perception is clearly wrong. The A400 is just drifting sideways, like all other planes. Let's do it. 787. This is not going to have any chance, but uh, we'll see. In, in Flight Sim 2020, these... Whoa! Calm down there, buddy! Get the speed brakes going. Yeah, the wing flex in this... What did I just watch? What is going on with the sim today, man? Like, look at the difference in wing flex here. Why does our left wing have so much flex and our right is just straight? Like, what? What is going on? What am I seeing, man? And let's see what it looks like from inside. You ready? Oh my gosh. Okay, what happens if I try slew mode here? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at these crumpled wings. Up and right back into it. It's drifting off my screen now. So you go slew mode for a second. You let go. It's like, oh, let me, let me just straighten out the wings. And then, nope, we're not done yet. Okay, so I don't think we're going to try the 7A7. It's not going to work. Okay, last but not least, after that 787 fiasco, we have the 747 Dreamlifter with absolutely broken textures. I don't have much hope. Let's see. Come on, little baby. Give us a little bit of movement. Look, look how broken these engines are. Like, what is going on? And... Maybe a tiny bit, but I mean, that's that's pretty much all I got. Only two planes did it. If this does well, maybe we'll do part two with a bunch of other planes, but that's it.